Greetings, I'm Rob Chapman and welcome to One Lick and One Exercise that you absolutely need. And also welcome to Shred Semba, um, where on my channel throughout December there will be lots and lots of cool guitar lessons. I really hope you enjoy this. If you do, please give it a like and a subscription and hit my bell. So let's get straight to the point. It is an exercise which can also be used as a lick and could also be used as a concept for a riff. It's a bit like when you do spelling bees. Can you use it in a sentence and can you use it in a word or something? Let me show you the exercise. Welcome to Close Up Cam. So this exercise combines economy, sweeping, pentatonic shapes. It can be used as a lick. It can be used to help you create riffs. It is really multifaceted and quite deep. So enjoy, take it easy if you find this uh, difficult and just slow down and take a little bit of the time and if you're flying along and really enjoying it then good for you so let's start with some tuning notes I am an E standard and let's take a look at how this exercise functions. We're gonna start in E pentatonic position one. The scale shape looks like this. But we're gonna start at the very top of the scale and we're gonna start with a down stroke with our first finger on the 12th fret. Now don't worry that I don't have fret markers on the fretboard, it's because I use the force. So we're gonna start with a down pick on the 12th fret E string. We're then gonna pick up and use our third finger on the 15th fret E string. Then I'm gonna reach over with my second finger to the 15th fret B string and continue to pick up. So what you're getting here is a down stroke and then one up stroke which gives you two different notes. Now I'm specifically saying one up stroke because what I don't want you to do is pick down and then pick up, and then pick up. That would defeat the object of this exercise. This is an exercise in learning how to control a swept motion of economy picking. So, so far we've got this. If you've managed to do that, give yourself a warm hug if you have long enough arms and prepare to embark upon part two. We're now in this kind of formation of fingers. We're gonna bring the first finger to the 12th fret B string, and we're gonna do the same thing in the next section of the scale. We're gonna go down on the B string 12th fret, up, and this time it's a little bit easier. The second finger goes to the 14th fret on the G string. So again, this is down, and then up, up. We're gonna leave our first finger on the G string 12th fret, and we're gonna pick down, and then we're gonna get up, up again. So that was G string and then D string. You're gonna get an idea of how this, this works now. So first finger, again, 12th fret D string, gonna pick down, and then up, up. Third finger, second finger, we're gonna be using uh, 14th fret on the D and the A string. And then first finger to the A string, 12th fret. Slight change here, we're gonna pick down again. But now we're gonna pick up, up, and we're gonna use the second finger on this 14th fret and the third finger on the 15th fret E string. So you're gonna get. And then you can finish off with the root note if you'd like to. So the whole thing should look and sound like this, nice and slow. So it's a repetitive, economy-picked exercise that's going to be so useful for everything that you embark upon, whether it's blues or rock or progressive altered funk jazz or synth wave, or whatever it is, doesn't matter. It's just a useful pattern. You can stick in one area and repeat it and embellish upon it and move things. 
You could even move scale. Let's, for example, rather than using position one, let's use position five of the E minor pentatonic, which looks like this. And we'll do the same thing. So we're going to start up here on the 10th fret E string, and we're going to pick down, and then up, up, this time 12th fret, 12th fret. We're then going to pick down on the B string, 10th fret. Same thing, 12th fret on the B and the G string, up, up. Now you're going to bring your first finger back, this time 11th, 10th, 9th fret, and if you leave this finger anchored, it's impossible, you can't do it. So you have to just take your fingers off and move your first finger. So 9th fret, and then you're going to be going 12, 12. Now you need to remove your first finger to reach with your second finger to the D string 12, unless you are Steve Vai or Guthrie Govan or have a unique hand position. Think D string and then the uh, D string again and the A string. And then the last one, A string, and then we're going to come down, similar pattern. like this. So you can probably already see that you could reverse this and you could, you could, for example, you could go. There are all sorts of ways you can use this in your playing. I would recommend that you start with building fluency in the movement. So start with, for example, and just repeat that section. Once you can manage that, shift it to position one. And then maybe we'll do the B string version of that. So really what I'm looking for is for you to create your own innovation within this exercise and find areas that are useful to you. So there you have it, a multifaceted exercise that works on your economy picking, sweeping, your pentatonic scale shapes, and it can also be used as a mechanism for licks. Let me give you an example in position one of how uh, I'll improvise you could use this for a lick. So what if I start on the G string, and then maybe I'm gonna go up, and then that's gonna be a bend, so. There's an interesting and cool lick. I'll do that again for you. But you know, it doesn't have to be licks or scales. Maybe this is inspiration for a riff because if I, um, if I set my amplifier to stun, how much does this sound like a progressive riff? Think. take a lot of imagination to realize that with some interesting tunings this is a really cool way of maneuvering around some of these intervallics. Well I really hope you enjoyed this lick and exercise combination. If you did please let me know in the comments section below and I promise I will provide you more of this guitar shreddy goodness. Have a fantastic Christmas if I don't see you before and may the bearded gentleman bring you something nice down your chimney. Chop us out. Reach the mountain when you're cold.